Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I would be comparing the stock Android UI on the Galaxy Nexus and the TouchWiz UI on a Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Now, first of all, they both are running on Android Jelly Bean. This is on 4.1.2. This is 4.1.1. Now, <clears throat> from the home screen, you get the idea that this has this has a uh, Samsung has put put up their own skin on Android while over here it's pure Google there is no skin over here and the apps the way it is over here I'll just show you guys the apps on the TouchWiz it's almost the same you have the uh, the apps the widgets and then you have your downloads or Play Store but the background over here is clean black and over here Samsung has the wallpaper theme going on at the back well, apart from that, you cannot just swipe up to widgets over here like you can. Once the app finishes, it goes right into widgets over here. It just keeps on turning around. So when I hit on widgets, that goes into widgets. And they both have the same way of being placed on screens. I mean, I can place a widget just the exact same way as I can do on my Galaxy Nexus and uh, sizing also has the same thing I can size both widgets the way I want just the way I could size them over here so most of the things are almost the same you know apart from the app screen that I opened the home screen looks a little different you know the way the transition goes when I turn it on swipe from side to side something something have their own stuff going here but you can have something like this if you download uh, an AOKP -A on your Galaxy Note 2 or if you download Cyanogen Mod 9 or 10 so that's pretty cool guys there is no disadvantage of having the Samsung UI many people say they prefer the Google stock Android but having a having a UI on top which is pretty neat and almost the same is not too bad what is bad is actually having latest updates well on a Nexus phone you always get updated whenever there's a latest update it took a while for Samsung to get the Jelly Bean but as soon as Jelly Bean was launched this year it was on a Nexus device the next day or a few days later so yeah guys just still a really short video doing a quick comparison from the top you can see over here I have this because it's actually an app it's called widget Soid. it allows the same frame to do drop down like over here it's not exactly the same I can change the colors but it's almost the same I would say <clears throat> one more thing is the notifications they come the same way over here just they are like over here and uh, to go into settings you have to press the top on each and the settings they are a little similar Samsung has thrown in different icons over here they've made it a little different but mostly the same stuff you have security you have dock you have accessibility developer options about phone most of the stuff going on is the same just a little different so if it bothers you trust me it's not going to be too bad well yeah guys just a short video and uh, thanks for watching Say hi to the birdie. Give it a thumbs up if you like the birdie. Thank you. Bye-bye.